Good day friends, in this video I will show to you how to set up DSHOT ESC on Arduino Pilot. On my setup I have a Matic H743 Slim with default PWM outputs on S1 to S13. From Matic H743 datasheet, you can see that the outputs are grouped. S1 and S2 belong to group 1, while S3 to S6 belong to group 2, and so on. On my VTOL setup, I will be using the first few outputs for the motors. To begin with, open Mission Planner, then go to Setup tab and select Servo Output. Change the functions to the layout that your setup needs. For Tricopter VTOL, I opted to set S2 to S4 for motors 2, 1, and 4 respectively. I move the control surface functions to S7 and S8, while the tilt motor servo functions were set to S9 and S10. This way, all the servos won't be within the same groups as my motors that will use the DSHOT protocol. However, all the outputs are still set to use PWM by default. And since you want to use DSHOT on the three motor outputs, we need to change it accordingly. Apparently, you cannot mix PWM and DSHOT within the same group as stated in the datasheet. And if we enable DSHOT on one of the outputs in the group, all other outputs in that group will change to DSHOT as well. To change the protocol, go to the config tab then select full parameters list. Now type on the search box Q underscore M to narrow down the list. Look for the Q MPWM type parameter and change the value to 6 if you want to use the DSHOT 600. Click on write parameters to save changes. Next is to search for the servo parameters by typing servo underscore on the search box. This will give you a narrow down list of parameters related to servo. Look for the servo BLHO type and change the value to match your DSHOT type that you set a while ago. In this case, we use DSHOT 600. Then change the servo DSHOT ESC to match the type of ESC you have. If you have BLHEL32, set it to 1. If you are using BLHeli S, then set it to 2. Here, I will use 2 since I'm using BLHeli S. Next is to enable pass-through for ESC. This is done by setting servo BLH auto to 1. And finally, we need to set up the servo BLH mask to enable BLHeli pass-through and DSHOT protocol on the motor outputs. Since I have motors in S2, S3, and S4, I need to enable these check boxes. Write the parameters to save changes, then disconnect your flight controller by removing it from the USB port. Plug your flight controller back and connect again to Mission Planner. Now you can see that on the Messages tab, it shows DSHOT on S1 to S6 while outputs S7 to 13 are still on PWM. One last thing to check is that the motor output should have a minimum of 1000 and maximum of 2000 to match the DSHOT settings. And that's it, you have now enabled DSHOT on your setup successfully. Optionally, you can connect the ESC to configure it using pass-through. Plug a LiPo battery to your flight controller and connect the USB cable to your computer. You can use an online ESC configurator such as this one, then set up the port used by the flight controller.
click on the read settings and it should show active ESCs that you are using. If something is missing, just click on the read settings again. Then you can change the settings on your ESC here, such as the direction and other stuff. Don't forget to click on write settings if you change anything. Alternatively, you can also use offline configurator such as DevSuit if your ESC is supported. Hope you pick up something from this. Thanks for watching.